You find yourself in a labyrinth of twisting hallways, strange rooms, and enemies around every corner. You're looking to escape, but just when you thought you knew your way around, all the pathways seem to shift. It may be time to ready your weapon as you try to defeat your opponent in Dungeon Twister 20th Anniversary Edition, which was designed by Christoph Bollinger and published by Ludically, who sponsored this video. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Murphy of the Brothers Murphy, and I'm here with BoardGameGeek.com. Well, I've got my warriors ready to find their way through this maze, so let's get down to the table to go a little more in focus on Dungeon Twister. In Dungeon Twister, two players will face off against each other as they take actions to move their characters through an ever-changing landscape. Players are racing to be the first to score five points, which can be earned by eliminating their opponent's pieces or by escaping through their opponent's starting line spaces. On a turn, the active player will play one of their action cards, which will determine how many action points they have available to spend that turn. Now that player can act. At the start of the game, the dungeon is a mystery, so for an action point, you can reveal a room so long as one of your characters is adjacent to it. This room will show hallways and walls and possibly traps. There are also objects that players place onto the room tile at the start of the game, and these are now revealed and placed in that room with each player's placing their opponent's pieces. Players can spend action points to move a character. Each character will have a speed, which tells you how far you may move them for an action point. If you come across an object, you can immediately pick it up for free and keep on running. Objects have various uses and some are free, while others take up an action point to use. If you land on a rotation gear, you can rotate the tile that character is standing on. This will give new ways to traverse the labyrinth as you try to escape and knock out your opponents. Speaking of opponents, if you come across an opposing figure, you can initiate combat. Here you'll reference your character's combat value and you will also play a combat card. Once both players have picked a combat card, both cards are revealed and you see who has a higher total combat value. The player who has the weaker combat value is wounded and loses all ability to act other than defending themselves when attacked. If a wounded player is attacked and loses combat, they are removed from the game. The player that knocked that piece out collects it as a victory point. The other way to score victory points is to get your character pieces through the dungeon to your opponent's starting line. Any figure of yours that reaches this line is immediately removed from the game and placed in front of you as a victory point. Players will go back and forth playing action cards, using objects, rotating rooms, and running through twisting passages until one player scores five or more victory points, making them the winner. Dungeon Twister is all about keeping your opponent off kilter while you try to get the upper hand in twisting up the dungeon. And if Dungeon Twister seems like a game you'd enjoy, be sure to check out its page at BoardGameGeek.com. Until next time, I'm Mike Murphy, and we've been going in focus on Dungeon Twister. Have a great day.